might be a bit of a stretch, but you know, you saw what Colin Salman did earlier, and you know, he set the tone for these Newbury Park boys, and they're incredibly well coached by Sean Brosnan, and they're basically in their backyard here. Yeah, it's a home meet for Newbury Park down here at San Juan Capistrano, but a good field here to uh, to help Lex Young get there if he, if he can make it. We've got Jack Bruce in this from the Melbourne Track Club. And he's run 13.28. He's got a 13.37 season best coming from Australia this year in that winter season. And look, we're seeing Lex in the orange jersey on the outside, moving himself up all the way into about sixth, I think, already. So Lex has already gone 8.35.72 for 3,200 meters at Arcadia just about four weeks ago. He's ran a 404.68 mile uh, earlier this season. Um, there's no reason why he can't, you know, get in this all-time list. So he's currently wearing that orange singlet and black shorts, currently occupying sixth place. So the pacers for this race, Dylan Vanderhoek and Sam Falder, University of Washington athlete there, Sam. He raced earlier this evening. It looks like running in third is uh, Colin Abbott from Minnesota Distance Elite. More of a 1500 meter specialist. And then that's uh, Madrano running in fourth. And then Joshua Yeager from Minnesota Distance Elite. So that's your top five. And then Lex Young running just behind them. Lex Young already tucking himself here into the top top six and they're rolling 66 through that first lap so right behind lex is uh, australian isaac hain who's fresh off a 1330 clocking at peyton jordan so they're coming up to 800 meters and they're going to hit that in two just under 212. So running around 13.30 pace right now. And another high school athlete not to be overlooked in this race as well. We'll see if we can point him out. Uh, Tyrone Gorzy is in here too. The crater athlete from Oregon. And he was, I believe, the Foot Locker West champion this year. And he did that down here at Mount Sac. So keep an eye out for him too. Yeah, both these guys, only juniors, Tyrone Gorzy, he's run a 408 mile, for a full mile, um, just last weekend at the Nike Jesuit relays. There he is with that, he's in that white singlet, he's got the long blonde hair, and he's towards the back of the pack on the outside. But you're right, Jeff, he was the East Bay West regional champion, um, and was sixth at nationals. I said Foot Locker, didn't I? That's okay. You're showing your age. <laughs> I am. I'm sorry, everybody. If you'd said Kinney, it would have been worse. <laughs> yeah. I'm not quite there. So, yeah, there's Gorzy there. And he ran 408 in, in that race at, uh, at Jesuit High School that saw all of those, those Oregon boys run under 410. So something's brewing in high school when you can see two juniors jump into a race like this, too. Yeah. Moving steadily up the field in the yellow top and the black single. Actually, there's two of them now. But the, the foremost of those, that's Isaac Hain, um, all the way from Adelaide, Australia, representing ASICS and Team Tempo. We will get you a 1600 split, which will be a little more meaningful here. Coming up in just about 12 or 13 seconds. So we were looking for about 422. We're going to be right around there. Pacers are doing a good job, just like Anna Camp Bennett in the last heat. Looks like 420, just under yep. 422. Great job by Affelder and Vanderhoek. So think about that. Yeah, all, all the high school kids out there watching, 422 is a fantastic time for a high school miler. And we've got two guys in here running a 5K at that pace. So a lot of these guys on track to run personal bests, like I said earlier, uh, 
ability range uh, as far as PB goes, about, about 1328 to 1356 in this section. We still have a faster section to come, of course. And we're going to bring in an interview with Andy, too, uh, pretty soon. And here we go. Two. All right, we're here with Ella Donahue. She just won the women's 5K. That was a gritty race. Right down to the finish, five-second PR. Talk us through it. Yeah, no, I think I came out as my first race of outdoor, first track outdoor race as a pro. And so I kind of just wanted to come down off altitude and just kind of like see where I was at. I think our coach did a good job of just like letting us know that we're not trying to do anything crazy here. We're just trying to race. And I think having that mindset and just trying to like compete with people is is probably where I'm the best and where I'm going to run not only just the smartest race, but also set myself up to run fast. So I think I executed that well. And yeah, I'm really I'm pleased with that as an opener. Heck yeah, and, and talk about a bit about the atmosphere out here, kind of like uh, how, how does it feel kind of being at a high school, kind of casual, fun, the good energy, what are you feeling? Yeah, super fun. I mean, obviously it's a beautiful place, beautiful weather, pretty much ideal conditions, and sound always does a good job putting on these meets, and so to have it in a low-key environment, I think, like I said before, is a perfect way to kind of just welcome in the outdoor season in a relaxed way, but still just go out there and race hard. Absolutely. And this is my man Jack here. He's been rehearsing this one question he's been dying to ask you. Jack, what's the question? At what age did you first start running? Okay. Um, I think so. I first started going for runs with my parents probably when I was like your age. And I would maybe go for a mile or two. But competitively, I started in high school. Fun fact, Ella is one of the top high school runners in the U.S. all through high school and college and now in the nation as a professional. So, Ella, thank you for spending some time with us. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you the rest of your season. Thank you so much. Yeah. There you go, bud. And crew. There you go. And we're back here on the track. And these guys are just clicking away out here. The temperature is dropping. It's perfect for 5,000 meter running. And it looks like Lex Young and Tyrone Gorzy are, are doing a little bit of work together right behind Mick Stanovsek there in that in that Oregon TC singlet there at the back of the pack. Yeah, we came through 2,500 meters in 650, so right at 1340 pace. The, the pace has slowed a little bit after the pace has dropped off, that last lap being a 67.4. So 60s, 60s, 65s early on, and now moving towards 66, 67. But we've got Josh Yeager of the Minnesota Distance Elite up front pushing it, and Paul Ryan in the, uh, yeah, right behind him. Paul Ryan, more of a 1,500-meter runner, too, stepping up to the 5K. Yep. So we have three Australians in the top six here. Th this is a very international meet here. A lot of Australians coming over. And Worlds, as everybody knows, is going to be in Eugene this year in the U.S. So we have a lot of athletes making home camp here before they, they tackle the world in Eugene. Here's Brian Schrader moving to the front, as, as he usually does in these races. If Brian Schrader is in a race... You're always going to see him at the front, at least at some point. <laughs> so it's Schrader, and then Jaeger, and then Paul Ryan is your top three. And now, who's that making a move in the yellow and black? That is... Is that Hayne, the Australian? Thomas Fafard. Oh. The Canadian. Yep, Fafard. We've got two guys wearing yellow tops and black singlets. That's Fafard, the Canadian running in second, and then Hayne, the Aussie, is back in about seventh, but wearing almost identical uniforms. Schrader still up front here. And then Fafard. You know who else is in there in the mix still? Is Cal Baptist, Florian Lepelec. So nice run. He's not letting the, the high schoolers have all of the airtime here. We can see Gorzy there hanging on to the back. Lex Young still tucked up there in the orange singlet. All right. So Young slashed himself onto that front pack, which contains eight runners now. 
So we've got Jack Bruce there. Take a look at him. He's wearing the New Balance kit, and he's the tall, tall figure. He's got the dark singlet on, right behind, uh, right behind Florian Lapelic, the CBU athlete. Pardon the pun, but it's Schrader who's got us back on track. 65-7, that last completed lap, which was more or less the designated pace we were supposed to be running from the beginning. So Schrader, sensing he was needed, jumps on the pace. And Lex Young still in there. And now Fafard. He's going to take a lap. So 3,000 meters for this race passed it at 8.17.9 for the leaders. So that would put that would put Lex Young, I would say, right around uh, 8, 8.20 for 3,000 meters, which is a fantastic time for a high schooler, and he's, he's still on it. Yeah, so continuing this international flavor, it's Fafard, the Canadian in the lead. He's actually from uh, Quebec, coached by the same, uh, sorry, um, his coach also coaches Charles Philibert Thibouteau, also known as... CPT. And we'll see him next in the next right. uh, race. Well, the, the top heat of the men's 5,000. So CPT, everybody's been touting him as a possible contender with Inga Britson in the top heat of the 5,000, having won that um, very competitive BAA 5K on the roads a few weeks back. And now it's his training partner taking this race with 800 meters to go. So 800 to go, Fafard out front, and then Paul Ryan, the 1500 meter man, 336 guy. He's pulling up in second place there. That was a real injection of pace by the Canadian, a 63.8 by far the fastest circuit so far. Julius Dyer of the uh, Ocean State Athletic Club behind him, he's in that striped singlet. Now look who's creeped up into fifth place. Oh no. Oh, the Sharks are circling out here. Lex Young, Southern California boy. There's his brother cheering him on in the infield. He's trying to chase down this pack of four that have separated themselves. Paul Ryan now goes to the front. There's Lex Young stalking the pros. So Lex Young's last three laps have been 65-5, 66-6, 65 flat. And they're coming into the bell lap. And we know he's in that place in his development, too, where he's not quite sure exactly what he has. So coming in with a lap to go, we could see an amazing lap. We could see something not quite amazing. I don't know. But that's... 1240 at the bell for Young. So 1240 here. He needs a 58 to break the record. That's, that's, that's a big ask, but certainly he's going to get in the all-time top five. His brother's time in high school, 1350, is square in his sights right now. But he's in no man's land. It's the final lap, though. There he is, down the back straight. Paul Ryan out front here. And then it's Julius Deere from Ocean State AC. 200 meters to go for Paul Ryan. Fafard has moved back into second. 13-12 for Young with 200 meters to go. 13-12 on the clock. Paul Ryan here. Ryan getting onto the home stretch. Fafar trying to close it down on him, but it looks like this is Ryan's day. And it's going to be a PR for Ryan. Came in with a PP of 13.44.95. He's going to smash that by 10 seconds or so. Let's keep an eye on the clock for Young. Nicely done. Let's keep an eye here. Keep Take this camera Lex. view. Here comes Lex Young. What's it going to be? 13.44 it looks like. 13.44 for Lex Young. Let's see it populate on the clock. 13.43.95. So, 13.44 was the very special number to beat because 13.44 flat was Jerry Lindgren's time. Young's last 1,600, 4.18. Oh, man. <laughs> Incredible. 